Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Radush and today we're making brownies. This is the best recipe I have found and it's gonna serve you as a really good basic recipe that you can later use to combine with your favorite types of nuts, chocolate chips, salted caramel, whatever you prefer your brownies with. This recipe is gonna give you that super fudgy chocolatey flavor that we all know and love in brownies. So stick around for the next couple of minutes and let me show you how to make brownies. First, we're going to melt 250 grams of butter in the microwave and while that's melting, we will chop 200 grams of chocolate. When the butter is ready, we will add our chocolate chunks inside along with a teaspoon of espresso powder and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Putting the cocoa powder in the hot butter is called blooming it and it will serve us to achieve that deep chocolate flavor in the brownies. Now whisk it all together and set aside while we mix our dry ingredients. In a large mixing bowl add 300 grams of granulated sugar, a splash of vanilla, 100 grams of brown sugar and a pinch of salt. Now in a separate bowl, break 6 whole eggs and start adding them gradually while mixing. Mix it for at least 5 minutes so that you incorporate as much air as possible into the mixture. After that, we will add our chocolate ganache and mix it to combine. Now we will sift 150 grams of flour and 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder in the batter. After that we will gently fold the flour into our wet ingredients so we don't lose that air in our brownies. When that is ready, we will line our baking tray with parchment paper from both sides, so that our brownies don't stick while baking. After that, we will add half of our mixture. Now for the optional part. I added 150 grams of pecan nuts and 100 grams of chocolate chips, just to get that crunch in a brownie. After that, place the other half of the batter on top and bake it 180 degrees for about 40 minutes. After they are done baking, let them rest for about 20 minutes and then you're ready to cut them. Now for the serving. I like to add vanilla ice cream on top of a hot brownie, just to balance it out a bit. And I highly recommend you to pour some hot caramel sauce on top of it. Caramel goes great with it. Now you can enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up and if you still haven't, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you!